There is no doubt that donating blood was and still is a reason to save millions of people, and even its importance is limited to the donor, but apart from the importance of this process, there is a puzzling question that comes to mind, which is whether it is possible for the donor's DNA to mix and live with two DNA in his body. Welcome to the Curious Questions channel. In this episode, you will find an answer to the question. Is DNA mixed when donating blood to another person? Blood consists of 99% of red blood cells and plasma, and 1% of white blood cells and platelets. We find, one of the most important steps for blood transfusion, is to treat the blood withdrawn from the donor using a centrifuge, where the device begins to separate the components of the donated blood, and then get rid of the DNA cells. But even if a quantity of them remains the human body deals with it as an intruder, trying to get rid of it and eliminate it. But in spite of this, in some cases the foreign DNA of the donor can remain in the body of the recipient of blood for a certain period, and it has some effects, in a study conducted for a number of people who had blood transfusions to them in small quantities. As the foreign DNA remained in their body for a period ranging from 7 to 8 days starting from the date of the transfer, while the people who were exposed to blood transfusions to their bodies in in large quantities. It was observed that the foreign DNA settled in their body for a year and a half or more. But as a result of this stability, we find that there are complications and a long-term effect, including increased sensitivity of the recipient towards some foods or medicines or even climatic conditions, while we find some others have been exposed to recurrent fever for no apparent reason. And one of the worst complications, although it is very rare, is the reaction of the recipient body, and be it is attacking the white blood cells of the recipient of the new white blood cells that contain foreign DNA. The body treats the new DNA as an intruder by all standards, and the white blood cells begin to get in the way of the new blood cells and secrete antibodies as an armed army, and the war begins and the attack on the DNA nuclear donor blood. Therefore, it is very rare to find a person with two different DNA, because the human body always attacks any intrusive DNA. And that who's the answer of question of today.